sometimes a stock, a stock that we like, will sell off for no good reason whatsoever. So the shareholder base missed the memo that the market's feeling a little less down, you know, a little downbeat. Look, take Signa Jewelers, okay, SIG, which you might recognize as the parent company of Jared Zales, K Jewelers, among many others. Here's a stock that's been one of the best stories that we have ever identified, and we've identified since the bottom in March of last year. Say it's gone from a turnaround story to a true omni-channel powerhouse. But in the last couple of weeks, the stock's been slammed, first because of the pin action from the not-so-hot retailers like Nordstrom and Gap, then because the Omicron variant has got investors freaking out about any chain that's relying on some wall traffic. This morning, though, Signet reported what I thought was a terrific beat and raise, yet the stock got thrown into the meat grinder, tumbling 5%. To me, this is a name. Signet earned $1.43 per share. Wall Street was only looking for 72 cents. Same store sales, 18.9. Wall Street won 11.6. Fourth quarter of guidance, magnificent. Best of all, the stock still trades at less than nine times earnings. Absurdly cheap versus less to retail. So let's talk with Gina, Gina Drosso. Still, Gina is the turnaround artist CEO of Signet Jewelers. To learn more about the quarter, Gina, welcome back to Mad Money. Hi, Jim. Thanks so much. Jenna, when people see a stock down four, they tend to think that something's wrong. Let's go right to it. How was Black Friday? We had a great Black Friday and Cyber Monday weekend, Jim. We saw momentum continue. Uh, we had a very strong October, um, which we talked about in our earnings call today. Saw that continue into November. Uh, the Signet team is ready for holiday. We're stocked and staffed. We have great new uh, capabilities for customers. Buy online, pick up in store, same day delivery. Great assortments that are performing very well. Balance sheet, how's it look? Oh, it's very strong. I think that's a good story at Signet. A, a great working capital story. We've been working on the, um, the health of our inventory over the last several years now. Our clearance is down significantly. Our inventory turn is up 50 percent. It's really an exciting um, story there. And it's giving us the liquidity that we need to invest to continue to grow. We you announced that we had advertising up 50 percent last quarter, as an example. And we continue to add new digital features to help customers have the experience that they want online. Are you still doing a lot of uh, NFL football? You've been doing other ways to be able to get a hold of people. <laughs> Our marketing program is much broader than that now, but we are proud that Kay is the Hall of Fame sponsor for the NFL, and definitely consumers will see us on TV, uh, hopefully on that Georgia Bulldogs game this Saturday. Um, but we, <laughs> we, uh, we definitely are doing a much broader range of marketing now. It's much more database, more personalized. We're targeting bridal shoppers with bridal messages, gifting shoppers at the right time. So I think our data and analytics capability is really coming along and paying off for us. You're going to get a lot of commercials in that Georgia game because you're the best defense I've ever seen of the general went to Georgia, <laughs> and there'll be a lot of punting by the other guys. There's two things I want to talk about because you have really made, led a major change. One thing that happened before you got there was that you had your company had the reputation for maybe the worst workplace for women, okay? So workplace. The other thing is, is that you had a giant credit department that was actually running the company. Now you've exited credit, and you just got again an award for a great place for women to work. How were you able to turn this around in such a fast period of time? I think it's been a true team effort across our company, Jim. Uh, we are very proud to, but for the second year in a row, be a great place to work certified company. As you know, that's something that the employees vote on. And we've been listening to feedback for the last number of years now, making improvements in our culture, we made a lot of improvements this year in our compensation for employees, raising our hourly wage, adding new benefits, uh, offering holiday surpluses for our team members who are working so hard around the clock this time of year. So I'm very proud of the efforts that we've had in our employee experience, making Signet a place where people can come and stay. I, I know it's a big story in retail right now, the turnover and attrition that people are seeing, but we're seeing the opposite. We're actually down 60% in our attrition among new employees in our field team. Well, that's a so that great story. Is, I know I want to congratulate the team, but obviously you've led a great uh, pathway to brilliance here. Now, another thing that I, I find very intriguing was that you seemed to know that people were going to shop early and you had the inventory that was necessary. And it turns out they did shop earlier than we thought this year. 
That's right. So we've been using our consumer insight and trend predictions to guide how we plan our assortment. Um, we predicted months ago that customers would be in the market earlier, and we turned up the dial in our marketing support. We got the right product to the right stores, and we serve customers very well in brick and mortar. Uh, brick and mortar traffic was up considerably versus year ago, though, though still down to two years ago. And in e-com, we lapped um, almost a doubling of our e-com business last third quarter with 14 percent growth. So very strong on that front as well. Okay, uh, last thing, you always come on right about now and tell us what is hot, what are people giving, what are the uh, great Christmas gifts. I know you always have a, a great design artist and brand name. What's selling very well right now? Yeah, we do. We're seeing uh, pretty broad-scale strength right now. Diamond fashion jewelry is trending for women and for men. Uh, that's a very interesting new trend, men buying for themselves, but also their partners buying for them. And then we're seeing gold jewelry do very well also among men and women. Some of the new lines that are particularly hot in bridal are Monique Lillier and Patina, Panina Tournay that we launched last year. Vera Wang has been very strong, Neil Lane. So we have a, a very good broad scale strength in bridal. And then in fashion, the new Serena Williams line is continuing to do very well. So we're excited about that one for this holiday season. Also, a lot of us want to thank you. You are uh, your advertising is the best ESG kind of advertising. I've always felt that you treat men and women of all races, colors, creeds equally. I wish others did the same thing in their advertising. Thanks so much for that, Jim. It's really important to us to show all kinds of relationships, all kinds of love. That's something that we celebrate. It's, it's really the purpose of our company to inspire love. So it's very important to us. And, and beyond that, I, you know, if you go to our website, you'll see how strongly we feel about corporate citizenship and sustainability. We have our own net zero goals. We're part of the U.N. Sustainability Compact. I mean, we really take it very seriously. No, it's terrific what you do. And congratulations once again. It's a great quarter. There's going to be profit taken periodically after the run that you've had. Jen Adrosos, thank you so much for coming back on Man Money. Thank you, Jim. Uh, this has been a, a turnaround on every single level. It is so impressive. Symbol SIG, getting a chance to buy it at eight times earnings. That seems too cheap to me. Man Money back in the break.